Hi, and welcome to the first progress video of the Hardcore Time Traveler. Now, I didn't come up with this game mode myself. I got it from a Reddit post made by the username of Glazors. Links to his Reddit post is in the description. Now, as you may know, I really love playing on accounts with weird and self-imposed restrictions. The concept and the rules of this game mode are pretty simple. Rule number one, you can only time travel to the past once per account, else there will be paradoxes. Two, you will only be able to play content that is available during that time. And then three, you can move to the next game update whenever you want, but some suggestions is to own like the best in slot gear, have killed the strongest monster and have completed all the available quests. So I want to play just as if it is currently January 2001. I'm currently on the Conduit server and I have already deleted some of the benefits that it has. But I also need to remove this off. That was not there in... How do I turn this off? Okay, there we go. That was not there in 2001 and I think I also need to go to the settings. Like, I think I will need to delete every single thing that is on here. That should be good, I guess. Now, if you want to try this game mode out yourself, RuneScape back in 2001, the entirety of 2001 was completely free to play. So you don't even need to have membership. Alright, that was the introduction and the rules. I'm going to be going back into time when Devious Mud came to an end, just before it became RuneScape in January 2001. The available locations are Lumbridge, Drainer, Varrock and Barbarian Village. Now as for proof that I haven't been to like Faldor for example, which hasn't been released yet, I'm going to be scrolling down at the end of the video on my music tracks and then you can see what areas I have been to and I think Fanfare is Faldor and I haven't been to Faldor yet. The available skills that were released back in January 2001 are Attack, Strength, Defense, Ranged, Hit Points, Mining, Smithing, Cooking, Fire Making, Wood Cutting and I'm kinda going to be ignoring the rework of Prayer and Magic that were done in May of 2001. I'm just going to be playing as if they have reworked it in January 2001 else we would have like evil magic and evil prayer and good magic and good prayer and all that other weird stuff. So let's start this account. I think I'm going to be starting with training some ranged. I'm already going to be selling my bronze dagger. I will need to have a lot of coins to be able to buy some uh, stuff. Now there weren't any bank tabs in 2001. I guess it's this. All right, there we go. Nice. Good and old school. Let's also grab my melee weapon if I want to train that. Uh, let's go to the chickens. Oh yeah, if you really want to play as if it was January 2001, Run wasn't available until RuneScape 2, which was in 2004. So it will be walking everywhere. Now what I'm going to be doing now is going to try and kill some chickens, but holy crap, there are a lot of people here. I was thinking of killing some chickens so I can have some food. Uh, cooked chicken is like the best food available, I think. There wasn't any fishing, so cooking, the only thing that you really can cook is like raw chickens. And then with some food of the cooked chickens, I can go kill some goblins because they hit uh, often. Chickens don't really hit anything. Oh yeah, and for the quests that were available back then were Cook's Assistant, Restless Ghost and a Sheepshare, which were the introduction quests for Lumbridge. And then we also have Romeo and Juliet, Shield of Arath and Demon Slayer, which were then the introduction quests for the Rock. So I first want to complete all those six quests before I will be moving on to a January 2001 updates. Yes! There we go. Bronze Square Shield. Took me a long time. Five overall right now. I think I'm gonna try to get base 10, but this is going really, really slow with this crappy weaponry. I currently have 124 GP. If I complete Sheepshear quest, I will have 200, which will be enough for a Steel Axe. That would be a definitely... A great upgrade. 
As I just got back here from uh, gathering the wool, I just came to think of something. You can't actually store items in your bank right now in January 2001. You can only store coins in a bank, that's why it is called a bank. You can only store other items besides GP or coins in your bank since like July 2001. So what I'm first going to be doing is like, well, remove everything from my bank that is not coins. Else that would be cheating, isn't it? And then also my 25 GP. So it's kind of like playing Ultimate Iron Man mode right now. Well, until it is July 2001, then you can just store your items in the bank. Bop, 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 bop. Sell, buy, nice. Now since I have my steel axe, I can now just try and get like some wood cutting and fire making levels. Now I kind of forgot. You, um, you automatically run in this maze, but there is no run until RuneScape 2. Is there even a maze random in RuneScape Classic? Are there randoms in RuneScape Classic? I have no clue. I've never played RuneScape Classic. I think I'm just going to be ignoring all the random events that I will be getting. I think that's the safest way. Lol, death runes and steel arrows, okay. Ah, crap, missed it. There we go, 30 woodcutting. I'm going to stop at this. And there we go, that is then 34 fire making. I'm going to stop training fire making and woodcutting for now until I have a reason to get like level 40. But for now, I am going to stop and I'm going to start training some more melee with my improved weapon, which is then the steel axe, because I want to train a little bit of mining and smithing. And if you can see on the minimap, pretty much the only anvils currently available are either in the drainer sewers or in the rock itself. Okay, yes, found it. Here in the conduit, you can have a interface style. Let's put this on pre-2007. Ah, this looks old school in old school. Holy damn. Yay, 10 strength. But now I want to train a little bit of magic. I could use like the uh, world switcher and pick up these mind runes in the Lumbridge castle, but I think that's a bit cheating. So I'm going to be killing some chickens for some food and then afterwards I'm going to the wizard's tower to kill some wizards and hopefully I will be getting some mind runes from them. Hopefully I will not die. They can hit like, I have no idea, I think they hit like a 6. Nope, 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 nope. Wizards are scary. Oh, wizards are scary. Finishes one kill and then uh, no more wizards. Oh my god. Alright, and this will be then the final Lumbridge quest completed for now. And 30 prayer, nice. Good, it's time to do some mining with a bronze pickaxe. I think there are no other kinds of pickaxes available when you only have Drainer, Lumbridge and Varrock. Alright, here we go. Mind my first inventory. I'm going to be keeping my axe for now. Might need it later. Um, one chicken for the aggressive skeletons. Now I just need to walk all the way to the Lumbridge Furnace and then all the way to Drainer, to the Anvil and then back to the Swamp. It will be much much faster and more efficient if I just waited for Falador to be released which is in like two months I think. But that isn't really why I have played this game mode. I just want to play as if it was back then and not just waiting for faster methods to come out. If you know what I mean. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, ow! I need to take the long ride. I need to take the long ride. This hurts. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow, 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 go away. I need GP so I can buy armor, so I can do this more efficiently without that need of food. Hooray! First inventory took me about 7 minutes? No. I have no idea how long it takes. 250 XP for one inventory. Oh my god, I'm dying here. No, 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 are you fucking serious? <laughs> I died to a fucking skeleton! 
Are you fucking kidding me? I was getting comboed. Like three, three, four, boom, done. Out of the game. Oh my god. So, I have been doing a little bit of thinking if I should be making another hardcore account since uh, the account hasn't been progressed much. And as you can see right now, I am continuing to play on this account because first and foremost is because I don't want to make a hard, regular hardcore Iron Man series. This is a time traveler series and not a hardcore series. So actually I think playing as a regular Iron Man is a lot better because if you play as a hardcore, some of the content that will be released just like the wilderness, all the wilderness update that will happen somewhere in 2001, I will not be able to play or test anything out. I want to play every single content that is going to get released. I can also just play as a ultimate Iron Man, but <laughs> uh, no thank you. I think a regular Iron Man is just perfect for this series. I really do want to be a regular Iron Man because as a regular account who can trade, that doesn't really make any sense. Iron Man is just perfect. So sorry for all the people that want me to make a regular hardcore Iron Man series. I don't think that's going to happen. If you want to see people playing hardcore Iron Man, there are plenty of YouTubers that make hardcore Iron Man series, but that is not going to be something for me. Even if I just make a new account, I will just die again, it's just a matter of time. So I'm going to stop training mining for now. I am very close to level 15, which is needed for the Dork's quest when uh, Faldor is released. Now I am going to the Anvil of Varak, where I'm going to smith my bronze items. And then while there, I can also buy a nice weaponry and then also complete the introduction quests when Varak was released. And then afterwards, I have basically already completed every content that was available on the 4th of January 2001. All right, so how much money have I made from getting level 10 smithing? It is 602 GP. I just started the Demon Slayer quest and I want, well, before I'm able to defeat that demon, I will need to train a lot more melee. There isn't really good monsters to defeat here currently in free to play with only Varak and Lumbridge but I think goblins will do, but first I need to have a better weapon. I guess a steel sword for 325 GP. It's more than half my cash tag, but a good weapon is definitely needed. Mm, what else? I need to do Romeo and Juliet and Shield of a Wrath, but I don't really have any friends. Okay, there we go, 19 hit points, very nice. I'm going to stop training for now, this is really, really, really slow. Like, you can't imagine how fortunate we are with being able to complete members quests like uh, Waterfall and Trino Village to get like immediately from 1 to 40 attack with doing nothing. I have been here at the Goblins for 8 strength and defense levels and it took me like no joking, like two or three hours to get this. I wanted to get level 20 in each of them so I can wear mithril, but I am way too poor. I can't even uh, buy any mithril armor, so uh, I'm just going to be moving on. Uh, since I am here, I'm quickly going to grab the key for Demon Slayer in the Wizard's Tower. But first, I want to sell the loot from like two or three hours of doing this crap. Six hundred GP, nice. I can definitely buy a couple of mind runes from those back in Varak and get at least three magic, so I can use these runes first. Yay! More goblins for bones. Hmm, would be going in with everything that I own be a smart idea? Not really sure, to be honest. The only thing that I have is cooked chickens. My magic level is four. Magical defense is zero. Uh, I think it's time to kill a demon, right? Yes. Um, yeah. If I die, this is an instance, so I will lose literally everything that I have, including my freaking GP, which I've worked 
too long for. Uh, but let's get started, I guess. I've just went into the uh, eastern side because apparently if you go from this point from the eastern side, the wizard should not be able to attack you. Hopefully. The Nath? What the fuck, the Nath? Okay, here's a level 7, level 7, level 20. I don't want to be attacked by the 20 -er. Okay, I can just walk in, no problem. Wow, okay then. Alright, yes, completed, completed. I have 15 hit points. I'm gonna eat a chicken. Level 20 wizards will be attacking me. Come on, quest completed. Yes, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Why am I running? Oh, okay. <gasps> no, 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 no. Good. Yes, uh, I have everything completed that was released up until January 4th, 2001. Besides of the Shield of Wrath quest, but my Quester account, the second one, isn't ready to do the Shield of Wrath quest, so uh, that will be done later. So I guess I'm going to be ending the video here, and in the next video I will be skipping time to January 21st. 2001. All right, thank you all for watching this first introduction video of my time travel video. Next one will be still in January 2001, but I think uh, I will be time skipping to the future a lot more frequent and I will also be uh, skilling a lot more because with new updates, a lot faster methods will keep coming out, especially when Felador is released, then mining and smithing will be done a lot faster since the anvil and the furnace and the mine are all basically in the same city after you've completed Dorex quest of course okay thank you all for watching and okay thanks bye